friends this is aparna and welcome to aparna's magic let's go to the kitchen and let's get started we need bengal that means egg plant this is chopped dhaniya patta that means chopped coriander leaves this is bhuna hua moong pali that means roasted peanuts this is adrak that means ginger and garlic that means lasun this is haldi powder or turmeric powder this is kashmiri red chili powder this is dhaniya powder that means coriander powder this is garam masala powder this is bhuna hua jeera powder that means roasted cumin powder this is lemon or nimbu and this is ghee cut the bengal or eggplant into two halves like this way we need to grind this is chopped dhaniya patta that means chopped coriander leaves and garlic that means lasun and adrak that means ginger and bhuna hua moong pali that means roasted peanuts now we will grind it with water or pani we have finished grinding Our oil is nicely heated up, so we are going to fry the eggplant or bengal. Let them fry for a while. They are nicely fried, so we are going to take them out. Now in the same oil put cumin seeds or jeera seeds and ghee or asa patida Let them crack up Now add 1 teaspoon of this is haldi powder or turmeric powder and 1 teaspoon of kashmiri red chili powder Mix it Now add the green paste into it. Mix it. And let them cook for a while. Our gravy is simmering for 5 to 6 minutes now. So in this stage, add 1 teaspoon of dhania powder that means coriander powder. and 1 teaspoon of this is garam masala powder add salt to taste or namak and sugar to balance it or chini mix it again and let them cook again Our gravy is simmering for six to seven minutes now. So, the stage, add the fried beans or eggplant. Now mix it nicely. Now add little bit of water or pani. Mix it again. and let them cook for a while our gravy is simmering for 10 minutes now so it is almost done so at this stage add 1 teaspoon of this is bhuna hua jeera powder that means roasted cumin powder 1 teaspoon of ghee and squeeze a lemon or neem now mix it very gently and you are done stay tuned for more recipes and please subscribe my channel
friends this is aparna and welcome to aparna's magic let's go to the kitchen and let's get started we need fish three pieces this is chopped onion one medium size or chopped pears this is fried onion that means fried pears or birista this is ginger garlic paste adrak or lasun ki paste this is hadi powder or turmeric powder this is kashmiri red chili powder this is jeera powder that means cumin powder this is dhania powder that means coriander powder this is yogurt or dahi this is long a lavang and cinnamon sticks that is dalchini and cardamom that means elaichi this is chopped dhania patta that is chopped coriander leaves this is garam masala powder and this is ghee here we have fish now add little bit of haldi powder or turmeric powder little bit of kashmiri red chili powder and ginger garlic paste adrak or lasun ke paste now mix it nicely this way they are all done our oil is nicely heated up so we are going to fry the marinated fish now let them fry for a while they are nicely fried so we are going to take them out now in the same oil put elaichi or cardamom and dalchini that means cinnamon sticks and lavang or long now add onion or pyaaz now add the ginger garlic paste adrak or lasun ki paste now let them fry for a while they are nicely fried so at this stage add 2 tablespoon of yogurt or dahi mix it add 1 teaspoon of haldi powder or turmeric powder 1 teaspoon of kashmiri red chili powder 1 teaspoon of this is jeera powder that means cumin powder and 1 teaspoon of dhania powder that means coriander powder salt to taste or namak and mix them again now let them cook again we need to dry grind fried onion that means fried pears or birista we have finished grinding they have been cooking for 7 to 8 minutes now so the stage add fried onion powder or fried pears ki powder or birista powder mix it nicely now add the fried fish add little bit of water or pani and let them cook for a while they have been cooking for 10 minutes now so it is almost done so in this stage add 1 teaspoon of this is garam masala powder add chop dhania patta that means chop coriander leaves and 1 teaspoon of ghee into it now mix it very gently and you are done stay 
tuned for more recipes and please subscribe my channel.